Holdsworth. It's probably one of many people's warm, happy places. Just think of it cheers me up. It's the last place you'd associate with drug dealing and a killing. So this story is a little surreal. Dawn on April 13th, 1999, saw Terry King and Jan Hanstra begin an ascent of Holdsworth. Hanstra returned before midday, soaked in sweat. King's decomposing body was found two months later by a hunter. He had been shot in the head with a rifle. The prosecution case was that Hanstra shot King over a perhaps mythical case of ecstasy and an $8,000 debt. The defence was lurid. South African apartheid era special forces, now drug lords out for revenge. Russian hitmen hiding in the bush. A successful defence, however. So, uh, no comment on plausibility. 25 years later, a Google search doesn't yield many details. The killing was done below Pal Hut, according to Tararua chronology. Looks a fair access point to the area below Pal Hut. Terry King's body was found face up, shot with a Seminov rifle. Thought the problem with finding a site would be all the leatherwood and tussock, but it's the opposite problem. There's just acres of flat land around here that could be the potential site. Funnily enough, Hanstra was a suspect in a Dutch murder in 2008 and was arrested in 2020 as part of a drugs gang that had a mobile torture chamber. The only recorded murder in the Tararuas remains unsolved, or at least no one has been convicted for it.